Okay, welcome to day three of our EFT session, focus on releasing money blocks and embracing new abundance. I am Jessica, and before we begin tapping today, we'll explore the beliefs about abundance and how we can navigate challenges because we know that we do our inner work, we do our EFT, things are starting to get better, things are starting to get very exciting. And then something happened and bam, we are back into square one. But I want to, what I want you to understand is that we need to identify first the beliefs that you currently have about abundance and how are they playing out into your everyday life. So you can take pen and paper, you can just listen and have a really deep think about this. So what, the, what are your beliefs? about unlimited abundance being available to everyone. Now we know that money is energy. We know that we are energy and we are like a magnet and we are attracting instantly whatever we desire. So it's based on the filter of our mind, of our belief system that we allow or, you know, we are pushed away, we are rejecting certain specific vibrations. And it's all about the type of story that we have, you know, consciously or unconsciously within our mind about money, whether is it is it available for everyone? And if it's available for everyone, why there are poor people? Why there are people who are super rich? Why there are people who are struggling? Why there are people who have a lot of wealth and then they lose it, right? Because Money does not respond to talent, to skills, to, oh, you're just being so good in my life and therefore I can have money. Even though we think that that is a lie, it is a limiting belief. So do you believe there is more than enough to go around that anybody can have access to it? That doesn't mean that all the people are doing the certain way to actually get the money. Your money responds to vibration. So are there any areas in your life where you're going against the tide, against the flow, where you are withholding, when you're hoarding, when you are resisting, when you're not seeing opportunities and ways to fulfill your dreams and life purpose because of this limiting belief, which could be eradicating into that deep feeling of I am not good enough, I am not capable, I haven't studied enough, I haven't practiced enough, I don't know anybody around me who has the thing that I want. And so we allow circumstances, culture, background, and our you know, our past experiences to define what could happen in the future. But that is really ridiculous because we know that we can change vibration at any given moment. We know we can shift our identity at any given moment. We know that by choosing to tap in into that abundance today, we can collect and claim that energy. So are you fluid and in flow of the abundance or are you resisting it? When you meet with resistance, is it something doesn't work out the way you plan? What do you do? And here I want you to stop a moment and I know I'm going to take a little bit, like a couple of minutes just to prop, like tickle your brain and then just go deeper in than this. If something doesn't work out the way you plan, what do you do? I tell you what I do <laughs> and what, I, what I'm working on to not doing, if you know what I mean. I feel guilty I feel like I did something wrong I feel like a failure I feel that I don't understand how I done all the things that I was supposed to be doing but I did not get the result that I want and why other people are doing less than what I'm doing they maybe they are less talented or skilled or they ha I have definitely more experience than them but they're still getting that result and so that comparison of where am I standing versus where they are standing, it's really like hitting me down to the curb. And I'm like, oh, what's even the point, right? What's even the point to try to change all of this if I'm still going back to square one? Again, if that's how you feel, I want you to understand that I see you, I honor you. And there is a reason why you keep coming back on square one is because the belief that you are trying to rewrite it has not surfaced yet 
you haven't seen it, you haven't paid attention, you haven't allowed the feeling to go deeper than that. And so what I understood to the peeling off of the layers of like, I'm not good enough, I'm not capable of doing this because nobody else around me has done that. I have realized that I have to run my own race, that I am actually running against myself, against that version of me that has all of this limiting belief that I don't know how I can make it. I doubt myself and so forth. And I'm scared of doing something completely new and then be disappointed on myself that I just rather not try. So I am running my own race in my mind, in my belief system. If that's you, today's EFT session is to release is to release the fear of what other steals your amazing ideas. I had this amazing fantasy storybook, you know, like if you know me, if you don't know me, I did many different things in my life from makeup to skincare to spa to massage to business. And of course, I have my business online and coaching and I am an author and I'm a podcaster. And so as I was writing, I was shifting my career from psychology coach to um, becoming a, a full time writer. And I was writing my first fantasy. My fear was like, what if I write this and someone steals it from me, right? What if I write it and then someone cops it and, and I cannot have anything back. And then my, my idea is gone and someone is going to do it better than I am, right? If you have thought the thoughts, this is the session for you. And you might come back to this and do it more and more than time before actually you move forward. You really need to feel the sense of relief when you do this session because this is it. This is the like this is the money making. This is what has literally kept you stuck into perfectionism, into paralysis, into procrastination, into keep buying, buying different courses, keep learning and learning, keep taking classes and classes and not actually doing the thing. Okay. And I wanted to give you like kind of a spoiler alert of what is the actual limiting belief around it. The limiting belief is that I am not good enough to you know kind of it's like a process like an energy process like to download what I have in the four dimensional level so in my mind into my reality because I've never done it before hence maybe someone else can do it better but it doesn't make sense because you are the channel to the idea you are the channel and the the source of the creative you know, juice and the creative project, the creative idea, only you know how to make it out there. And it's about crafting skills and knowledge within your mind. So you can take whatever is up here and then transcend it and push it out into the world. And that's where mastery, self-mastery comes to the game. Okay. So let's get starting with the EFT session. So we're starting... So we're addressing these belief and emotions surrounding wealth and abundance and procrastination. Karate chop point. Even though I'm afraid I miss out my chance for wealth. Head. Even though I'm afraid that others will steal my dream. My brows. Even though I have to be first and on top of my game. And I don't know how to do that. Side of the eyes. Even though I'm not smart enough to see the changes in the economy. And the eyes. Even though I'm not one of the lucky few who get it. On their nose, even though I'm afraid to collaborate with others because they might steal my ideas. Chin, even though I'm afraid that claiming my abundance will take resources away from others. Collarbone. Even though in the past I was not one of the lucky ones when it came to wealth, when it came to wealth. Still in the corner bone. I now I know now I have all the resources and knowledge I need to create my own abundant life. 
in their arm, there is more than enough for everyone. Leader, I joyfully celebrate wealth and abundance of my divine nature. I can have everything I dream of and more. Great. Let's pause for a moment. Acknowledge which one it was like more strong. Uh, personally, I did feel more in the beginning. And again, we're going to do it again with even though and then the positive. If you feel that once we go through all the points, you still have it, just come back to it. Okay. Just rewire and just do it again. Actually, you know what? We're going to do it twice together because this is good for me, good for you, especially if you want to start a business online. So if you have a business online or in person, this is like necessity. Okay. Let's do this. Karate chop point. Even though I'm afraid I miss my chance for wealth, I attract many chances for wealth now. Head. Even though I'm afraid that others will steal my dream, my dream is unique and only I can claim it. Eyebrows. Even though I have to be the first and on top of my game to win, and I don't know how to do that, I am on top of my game because I am running my own race. And I honor my process. Side of the eyes. Even though I am not smart enough to see the changes in the economy. Even though I'm not smart enough to plan accordingly to the changes of economy. I can see and I'm capable of being rich now. And that I, even though I'm not one of the lucky few who get to who get to have all the money, I'm one of the few in my family to carve my own wealth path. And for generations to come. Under nose, even though I'm afraid to collaborate with others because they might steal my idea. I welcome my little helpers from the universe with open heart. Even though I'm afraid that claiming my abundance will take resources away from others, there's more than enough for everyone. Because energy is unlimited. Collarbone. Even though in the past I was not one of the lucky ones when it came to wealth, now know that I have all the resources and knowledge that I need to create my own abundant life. There is more than enough for everyone. There is more than enough for me. And there are I joyfully celebrate the wealth and abundance of my divine truth.
I'm a magnet for abundance and prosperity. Lever point. I can have everything I dream of and more. And I claim it all right now. Ah, oh, good one. I leave you actually to do it the second one because otherwise it's going to be way too long video. So circle the hands above your head. Take a deep breath in. Down the hands to prayer, bow in gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Always remember to do your closing ritual. We all, our opening ritual is more about, you know, take a deep breath and just like starting with the process, but it's very important to have a closing ritual. Please, please, please repeat this as many times as possible, especially if you're going through a launch or if you are, you know, selling something or there is some you know offer that you're doing, just like sit down and do this for two, three minutes. And um, I assure you any type of limiting beliefs coming through receiving money or asking people for money or to pay for your services, really pay for your project. It's going to be completely dissolved. So this is very powerful session. So congratulations on completing day three. You bravely address these limiting beliefs and embrace empowering affirmations. So remember, each tap brings you closer and closer and closer to a boundless abundance. I was shaking the camera. I was like, that, that. So as you continue this journey, please, please, please nurture a sense of gratitude for the abundance you already have. And uh, by cultivating a mindset of abundance, it starts with the little things that you already have in your life because there are people that you know, they don't have what you have. So we want to feel so grateful and we want to expand this love and joy and, and growth and fulfillment in every single area of our life, especially the ones where we feel there is lack. OK, so stay committed to your practice, knowing that each session builds up upon the next, leading you towards a greater clarity, greater confidence and abundance. Trust in this process, meaning trust in yourself. Until next time, walk in alignment with your highest vision of abundance. Mwah. See you in the next one.